do you accept people who remain in their current religion? And in addition, if a person you know goes to a religion, do you excommunicate them? Well, well, firstly, as I pointed out before, I believe any religion on the planet is just a formulation of mankind's ideas about how they need to worship God. And as such, uh, I, I don't have any control over that. Neither do I have control over any individual on the planet. So therefore, I don't have any problem with any person going from religion to religion to religion and, uh, and doing whatever they wish, even not having a religion if that's what they wish. Not believing in God, believing in God, I have no problem with any set of belief systems in the person. The only time I have an issue with a person generally is when their attitude is one that lacks love, that lacks um, a desire to be loving with other people. I then, of course, withdraw my company from such individuals. But, but aside from that, I don't see any problem with them coming along to seminars that myself and yourself give to, to people and going along to Catholic Church and going along to the Orthodox Greek Church or going along to the, the mosque or going along to any other type of religious form that, that, that appeals to them in any way. I do believe that in time, as they receive more and more divine truth from God, they'll realise that the relationship with God is a very personal relationship and in the end that they probably don't need their religious faith in order to, to, to continue and develop their relationship. However, I don't see any harm in such religions as long as the religions themselves are teaching things that are in harmony with love and truth. If the religion itself is teaching things that are out of harmony with love and truth, then there is a great deal of harm that can be garnered to the soul of the individual and perpetrated from that person to others if they engage the beliefs and practices of a religion that is out of harmony with love and truth. So the real question comes is, are the teachings in harmony with love and truth? That's really all that matters, I feel. But this question is talking about whether you would accept them or reject them or excommunicate them, uh, in whether they were in a religion that was in harmony with truth, out of harmony with truth, would that affect how you deal with them? Well, let's look at the word excommunicate. It really means to not communicate, to, to <laughs> not communicate any longer um, yeah. to, with a person. Now, the only time when I will not communicate any longer with a person is when they themselves have demonstrated a lack of love towards myself or towards others, and they are very insistent on that behaviour. In other words, they're doing that with, they're taking those actions with purposeful desire and intent. And, uh, and there are some people who've done that with me and therefore I can't speak with them anymore until they stop doing that. And then when they stop doing it, I'll be perfectly happy to speak with them again. Um, so my feelings are that excommunication is really only possible under one particular guideline and that is how is a person treating you or another? Are they treating you with love and respect? And if so, why would you want to get rid of them out of your life? Mm -hmm. They're a lovely person. You want those kind of people in your life. And... Um, the, I would say, certainly never attempt to get rid of a person out of my life just because they don't believe something that I believe. And that includes whether they believe that I'm Jesus or not. That doesn't bother me in the least. Um, the only time I feel that I don't want a person in my life is when they treat me badly. Then I certainly wouldn't want them in my personal life. But in terms of excommunicating from a group, well, there is no group to excommunicate from. They would only be excommunicated from my life if they treated me badly, if that makes sense. And there is no excommunication or formal excommunication that I would teach anybody to engage in under any circumstances. There is no need to prevent somebody else from accessing your life unless the person who's attempting to access your life is attempting to harm you in some way. And then, of course, you would step away from the interaction. And when you say you'd step away from them, is that a permanent situation? For no, you? they can change their mind some point in the future. They could change their actions some point in the future. They could become sorry for what they've done in the past. And then I'd be perfectly happy to accept them back because I know then that I'm not going to get treated badly more often in the future. So, yeah, there is no need for a permanent excommunication from a person's life. And... Um, Although the question is really about excommunication from religion, from a religion, mm -hmm. I feel that uh, when religions excommunicate people, they are trying to control people. They are trying to control the belief systems of the individual. And so when a person has a differing belief system, instead of allowing that belief system to potentially challenge their own belief system, 
instead of openly and honourably with respect discussing the differences in beliefs, there is this uh, desire to just get rid of the person out of their life. And I feel that's a very damaging thing to do. It stops potential growth for both the person and the religion that they're in. And it stops the potential for change in a positive direction. You see, if everyone is at this level with regard to a particular religious belief system, and then one person is at this level, it would be better to discuss the matter rather than excommunicate mm -hmm. the person. And it's the same applies if everyone was at this level and one person was at this level. It would be better to discuss firstly with the person what's going on rather than just excommunicate them. And if the person is acting in a loving manner and respectful in their discussions with you, why would you ever remove them from any organisation that you are a part of? Unless they wanted to leave. If they want to leave, then let them go. Yeah. If, they, if they don't want to leave, then let them stay.